Hi, my name is William Flynn, and this is my apps presentation. Uh, the first app that I chose to review was the iTouch 5th Grade Language Arts Lite app. There's a Lite and a full version of this. Um, obviously, grade level is 5th, although they have various grades starting in 1st, going all the way up to high school, um, different courses for that. Um, and like it says, different subject areas um, from 1st through 5th. I know they have uh, language arts and math, and some of the grade levels have science as well. Um, the light version is free. The full version is $5.99 for one subject area. I think it goes up to 8 or $9 for a, a grade level um, app. And how it works, the students will select a subject and then complete lessons on that subject or skill um, that they're going to work through. So here with the light version, you see there's, there's a grammar verbs and then vocabulary and spelling so the students will go on there and they'll click one of those and then they'll um, you know they'll have a certain skill to work on within grammar and so it'll come down and you'll get a page that or a, a picture that looks like this on your screen and so the students have to kind of read through and answer the questions now there's also a lesson summary for each one of these and and you hope that the students will read the lesson summary before they begin because that's how they will um, get the most out of this if they choose to. However, I know a lot of students probably won't do that. And that's one of the biggest drawbacks with this app is that I think you really, in order to really get a lot out of the different lessons, you, you have to read the lesson summaries. And I know a lot of, at least my students, aren't willing to really do that. Um, I view this app as really good to review um, something you're learning in class or kind of as a pre-teaching moment so kids can, you know, read through the lesson summary, hopefully, and go through some of the activities and then come back to school the next day and discuss it. Um, the next app that I checked out was called Draw Express Diagram. Um, this is uh, where students create their own graphic organizers, which I thought was really neat. I think any grade level can use this. The light version is free. Um, there's a full version that's $8, although I don't think for our purposes we would need that. Um, and like I said, students create graphic organizers. They actually draw on the screen and can connect the topics. So in the bottom right, you'll see a picture. And this person's drawn a few circles and some rectangles. You, saw, you can do all sorts of other shapes as well. Um, and then you draw arrows connecting um, your different little shapes that you've drawn. And, and so that way, you know, you're kind of connecting your thinking. And here in the top left, you can see that you can add um, different pictures in there as well. But you can also, more importantly, type within the shapes that you've created. And so I really like how the kids can, can create their own graphic organizer with this and make it to be what they want it to be um, to really help out with their reading comprehension. And just, just you know, I think you could even use this to plan out a story and, and you know, show uh, sequencing activities as well. So I think this is a really neat app that I'm probably going to try to use this year in my classroom. Um, another app that I really, really liked was from EduCreations, and it's at their interactive whiteboard. Um, again, any grade level. Um, the basic level is free. However, you can also choose to do the Pro Classroom version, which is eight twenty-five a month. Um, how it works, this app will allow students to create a video of themselves explaining their thinking as they write on an interactive whiteboard. I love this idea. Um, so I showed a kind of a, uh, a younger student thinking level here where students figure up how to make 93 cents and so you know they're putting together coins and and while you're seeing this and while you're seeing a video moving the student would also be talking and explaining how um, they came up with 93 cents using these coins so it really gives you a really neat um, window into what students are thinking and then in the bottom right I chose something um, closer to what I was really interested in with this. Um, so you can also write over pictures. Um, this is Lewis and Clark, my fourth grade student study a little bit of Lewis and Clark. And you know, this, this student would be talking about Lewis and Clark, you know, talking about the map, talking about the route they took, you know, but then also able to write their thinking in. So they, we have the date, we have the explorers, we have where they went. Um, what a great way for students to show what they know and show what they've learned. Um, you know, and again, helps us to, to kind of get a window into their thinking. And, you know, again, you can use this to, to create graphic organizers. Um, and students can tell us which what each, you know, shape represents and how they're connected or even go over sequencing and events again. So I think this is this really, again, I, I hate to use that phrase, you know, gives us a window into their thinking. But it, it does, especially in terms of sequencing of events. So I think this is a really neat one that I'm going to use as well this year. 
Um, another fun one that I saw was called Strip Designer, um, and it's by, I think it's by Vivid um, Apps is the, the company. Um, but in this one, I think any grade level could really use this. Uh, the cost is $2.99, and it, it does cost money. But students can use photos or pictures that they draw to create comic strips. I think with a rise of graphic novels um, that we see, I think kids are really interested in comic strips. And I know I've had students, at least at a fourth grade level, that are really interested in making comic strips. So a great way for them to kind of practice writing in sort of a different genre. Um, and in this case, they can, you, you can see both of these pictures are ones where students have taken, taken pictures and then added thought bubbles in order to complete their comic strips. They have, um, they have different templates for the students to use and then they have all sorts of different effects. So just another way for students to be creative and, and really write their own stories. I, I think that's really, really neat and it looks like they would have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, the last app that I checked out um, was called Epic Kids Books and I'm, I'm new to this, um, but after exploring it for a little bit, I would say the grade level is anywhere from pre-K to fourth grade. Um, the cost is, it says it's free to educators. I just opened an account today and started checking it out. Um, so this app gives you access to thousands of books. Um, you can create logins for your students. You can assign them books to read um, or you give them options and, and you can create quizzes to test their comprehension to see how much they're understanding. Um, there's audio books available on here. So for your for struggling readers or for kids that are reading something above grade level, um, the audio book can really read it to them as they read along. And there's even books in different languages, which really jumped out to me. I thought that was really neat. So a student can read a book in Chinese or Korean or Spanish or something like that. Um, it, once the kids get their own profile, they can kind of customize that here they can get little rewards and then this was just a, a picture of some of the books that were available it looked like a lot of nonfiction books which I thought was really interesting books that you know you may not necessarily go out and purchase a whole bunch of but if you have this app um, you'll have access to it as a fourth grade teacher um, it looked like mostly the nonfiction stuff would be what I would use this for um, you know, I saw books on president books on different states and things like that I didn't necessarily see a whole lot of chapter books which is uh, what my kids read um, but as I said I'm still kind of scratching the surface of this and checking it out I, it, it really jumped out to me especially for my daughter who's five and a half and gonna be in kindergarten this year and I saw this I was like oh my gosh look at all those books that she can be you know sitting down and reading or we're reading to her or she can use the audiobook um, to read so I'm really really interested in this I'm definitely going to be um, checking it out here before school starts and you know trying it out with my daughter and seeing how she how she likes it. So thank you for um, watching. I hope you got a little bit out of it and maybe found one app that you're going to try out for this school year. Have a good day. Bye.